Okay guys, part two, we're gonna rush right through this because I don't want this to be a 40 minute long video. Um, that's that's ridiculous, might as well watch a movie. Okay, so 67, Walmart, Target, or Kmart. Um, is Kmart even around anymore? I guess they are. I haven't been to a Kmart in years. I don't even know where there is a Kmart in my area. Um, I like Walmart and Target for totally different reasons. I know you're not supposed to like Walmart. Um, you know, it's, I know, very white trashy. But they're open 24 hours a day. Dude, sometimes it's 3 o'clock in the morning and you just need a can of Pringles. Okay? And Target's okay, but Target can be kind of bougie. Target wants to be kind of bougie. Number 68, Nike or Adidas? What is this, 1985? Um, Nike or Adidas? I don't care. I don't give a shit. Pick one. It's all the same to me. 69, Cheetos or Fritos? Well, Cheetos. Cheetos are uh, cheese puffs, but I love the crunchy, the hard ones. The Cheetos crunchy cheese curls, cheese puffs, or whatever they're called. Um... I don't know, Fritos, Fritos corn chips, yeah. I like Fritos corn chips. Um, more so than not, I remember, though. Ay, 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 ay. I am the Frito Bandito. Give me some Fritos corn chips and I'll be your friend. Something about Fritos corn chips I've, will never end. I don't know. Anyway, stuck in my head for all time. Um, Frito Bandito. Number 70. Oh, we're on 70. Peanuts or sunflower seeds? Okay, peanuts. Sunflower seeds are just weird, healthy, weird, and bougie. Um, 71. Ever take dance lessons? Actually, I did take dance lessons early on in my um, performing, uh, my drag queen career. I did take dance lessons. I took um, what they call uh, Latin dance class. Uh, which was uh, four or five different Latin dances, and I took some ballroom. Um, I was going to take modern dance, but uh, I sat in on the dance class once, and it just looked weird. I don't know what they were trying to do. Let's just say, and it was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't going to improve my performance as a drag queen. Let's just say that. Um, number 72, uh, can you curl your tongue? I'm assuming they mean curl it this way. So if you're meaning curling it that way, yes, I can. I know people that can, can stick it out and curl it the other way. Um, and I can't do that. Um, 73, um, on any record albums. Okay, actually, I did own uh, record albums up until about um, a year ago. I still owned every record album that I ever purchased. I had um, over 100 record albums in uh, six wooden, five or six wooden um I guess there were six wooden produce crates turned on their sides with the records in them. Um, yeah, over over a hundred. Um, I don't know exactly what the count was, but it was well over a hundred um, of everything I ever I ever bought. Now I was late seventies, early eighties, so there was a lot of disco, a lot of disco, and a lot of eighties. Um, music, dance music. Um, there was a lot of what they call 12-inch dance singles. That was very popular in the 80s. Um, extended play um, songs. Um, I had I had a lot of um, I had a lot of collections. So, of course, you know, Little Gay Boy I had every Diana Ross album, 
I had every Barbra Streisand album. I had every Donna Summer album. Um, I had a lot of sort of um, subcategories within the disco. Um, I had every I, uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips album. Uh, you know, every Prince album. Um, and there were, you know, a lot more that I had, every album that they made. And a lot of, you know, a lot of those disco acts just made one or two albums. So, of course, I had every album they ever made. If they only made two, and I bought two. Um, but Donna Summer, Donna Summer, Diana Ross, um, Barbara Streisand, and Gladys Knight. Those were my divas. Those were my divas. Um, then we got into the 80s, and of course I had every, I had every uh, Whitney Houston album, um, because then of course we added Whitney Houston to our group of divas, um, especially as a gay boy. Um, it wasn't until later in life, actually, um, very much later, that I learned to appreciate uh, Fleetwood Mac and Stevie Nicks. Um, to me, during the period, it was a little too, it was a little too rock, because I was diehard disco man. I was, I was, I was disco ride or die man, and I did. I rode, and we died. Disco sucks. Okay, I was going to give, uh, pick one, um, which I stopped myself from doing. Um, I'm doing it right now under the thing where you can't see it. Um, and it was the death, death of disco. At least they thought it was the death of disco because guess what? Disco lived on in 80s dance music. It was just, it was disco just with a little bit more techno to it. Um, a little more tech sound to it. Um, and now, disco's back, man. Everybody wants disco. Everybody loves, loves disco. Um, I mean, not everybody. You're probably sitting at home going, yeah, not me. I can't stand that crap. Um, but within the collection, I had some rock and I had some country. I had some gospel. I, you know, I mean, I have very varied tastes. So I had some of everything. Um, when we were moving, I knew I couldn't, I couldn't bring them. And quite frankly, those six crates of record albums were so heavy. And I have drugged those crates around to every place I've lived. You know, since I start, since I moved out on my own um, when I was 18. And I was tired of dragging those around. And so I put them on Craigslist and I had a, I had a, a shelf, a stack record, a stack stereo system. So I got a bite on the stereo system. The guy came and picked it up and drug it off. Thank goodness. Um, so then I had said on Facebook, does anybody want these old record albums? Well, luckily, Tony's cousin, Sarah, said... You know, my husband, Jay, and I love old vinyl record albums. And we have a record player. And we have a collection of vinyl records. And boy, would I love to give him these 100 plus record albums for, I forget whether it was his birthday or... Um, whether it was their anniversary. But I was like, girl, come and get them. Come and get them. Well, how much do you want? I don't want anything. If they're going to you and Jay, I don't want anything. Just come and get them. I, I, I feel much better that they're going to someone in the family. I know where they are. I know you'll take care of them. If I ever want to hear one, or borrow one, 
I know that you'll let me, with without a shadow of a doubt, I know you'll bring it to me and let me borrow it, or let me listen to it, or probably even record it for me, and you know. Um, so I felt much better that they went to a family member. So, yes. That was a long story for a yes, wasn't it? Um, and that's why we're on part two. Okay, the next question was, do you have a record album? So, up until a year ago, yes, I did. Um, okay, question 75. Do you regularly burn incense? I don't regularly burn incense. Tony's parents do. And I always think it smells so good. Um, for Christmas, um, Amanda bought me a little incense burner and some incense. So when I get home, um, I will be burning some incense. Uh, 76. Why did you even put this question on here? Have you ever been in love? Of course. Haven't we all at least once? I'm in love right now. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm in love with Tony right now, this very second. Right now, I'm in love with, with my husband. Go figure. Okay, 77. Guys, I smell, I smell toast. Toast. Is that what you smell right before you have a stroke? Toast? I'm smelling it. It's like burnt toast. Oh, Lord. Well, if I stroke out, just watch it till the end of the video, till the, till the camera turns off. I have a, you know, don't call anybody. I have a, I have a, a DNR. So, I don't know, but I'm smelling toast. It's weird. Okay. Um, number 77. Who would you still like to see in concert? You know what? My concert days are over because um, I, it would be too hard for me to get to a concert. Um, however, um, I never got to see Whitney, Whitney Houston in concert. Um, and uh, I desperately regret that. Um, I've, I never got to see... Um, out of summer in concert and so I desperately regret that and I guess I probably would like to because I've never seen I guess I probably would like to see Cher I'd like to see Cher in concert I've never seen Cher in concert I would like to see Cher okay 78 hot or cold tea cold sweet tea southern says it all 79 sugar cookie or snickerdoodle okay well snickerdoodle is just a sugar cookie on steroids, um, so snickerdoodle. Why would you settle for a sugar cookie when you could have a snickerdoodle? Um, number 80, vanilla or chocolate? Um, as a kid growing up, it was chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Um, but as an adult, I've learned to enjoy vanilla ice cream, vanilla pudding. Um, I actually love hospital vanilla pudding. Go figure. It's really good. Um, number 81. Milk, dark, or white chocolate? Um, I do not like dark at all. It's way too bitter for me. Don't like it. And I know it's very healthy for you, but I don't, I don't care for it. Um, milk chocolate would absolutely be my first pick. However, white chocolate? Oh my gosh. I love the Reese's peanut butter cup, white chocolate peanut butter cups, the white chocolate Reese's Easter egg. Um, every year, my mother in my Easter basket would get me a cross, and it would be white chocolate. Um, um, it took me a while as a kid to warm up to white chocolate, but when I did, oh man. Um, and so white chocolate with anything peanut butter inside. White chocolate and peanut butter. That's a match made in my heaven. Um, number 82, are you patient? 
I am so not patient. I am not a patient person whatsoever. I don't have a patient bone in my body. No, sorry, I'm not. Number 83, DJ or band at a wedding. As I was growing up, um, all my family members who got married always had bands. Um, I remember the first wedding I went to that had a DJ. I thought it was very bizarre. But as time goes on, um, I am pro DJ. Uh, 84. Ever won a contest? Well, you know I have. Uh, we talked about that before. Certainly, I've won um, pageant titles and crowns and, um, you know, talent contests and that sort of thing. So, yes, I have. I have won a contest. I've won actually quite a few contests. Um, 85. Ever had plastic surgery? No. Um, as you can plainly see by this face, I've never had plastic surgery. Okay. Uh, 86. Black or green olives? Um, I'm not an olive fan. I could just sit and eat olives. Tony can't. Tony you can eat black or green olives right out of the jar and finish the jar in one sitting. I can't. I can't. Now, if they're in something, there is a dish I make, a chicken dish I make that calls for black olives. I can eat them if they're in that dish. Um, if I'm making egg and olive salad or something like that, green olives in something. I can enjoy. Um, 87. Can you knit or crochet? I cannot knit nor crochet. Tony can. Tony actually makes beautiful things. Um, he did uh, two baby blankets, one for Khan and one for our uh, first kitty squeak um, who passed. Uh, and they were beautiful. They were white. Khan's has a blue border with his name on it, um, and I think the date he was born, Squeaks uh, was white with a pink border with her name on it, a little paw and a little bow. Um, so sweet, so very sweet. He started one for Chewy. It's in progress. Um, Mia doesn't have one, nor do I ever think she will. Um, Chewy may never get one either because, you know, who has time? You know, who has time? Okay. Um, number 88. Uh, best room for a fireplace. Well, really, quite frankly, any room is great for a fireplace. Um, you know, how romantic is a bedroom with a fireplace? You know, blankets on the floor cuddled up with your love. Um, with cheese and, and wine or champagne and olives. Um, in front of the fireplace, cuddled up on a cold night, just talking and cuddling and, you know, drinking champagne and eating cheese and olives. Hello. I also love a fireplace in a, in a kitchen and, you know, where a fireplace should be in a living room or a family room, of course. So there's no bad room for a fireplace, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, 89. Do you want to get married? I would marry Tony. Tony is the first person that I think I've ever dated that I actually would marry. And I, I would I would marry Tony. We've discussed it, actually. And um, I, would, I would marry Tony. Um, Num okay, this is 90. We're almost there, guys. 90. And we're going to make it in, in, in two parts. Good. Uh, 90. Uh, who was your teenage crush? Well, I've already told you my teenage crush was Wesley Yor, uh from Land of the Lost and Days of Our Lives. If you don't know who Wesley Yor is, you can Google it. Uh, Wesley Yor, E-U-R-E. -E. Um, he's... I think probably in his 50s now, late middle to late 50s. I mean, I think he's pretty close to my age. Um, still looks great. Still as cute as ever. Cute. Cute as ever. 
again, in my mind, when I was a teenager, Land of the Lost, Days of Our Lives, he was my imaginary boyfriend. Um, as time went on, you know, and he left Days of Our Lives, and I got a little older in my 20s um, than Bo Brady, Peter Ruckel from Days of Our Lives. Again, if you don't know Peter Ruckel, Google him. Gorgeous. Beautiful man. Um, number 91. Do you cry and throw a fit to get your own way? Um, I am 55 years old. So crying and throwing a fit um, would probably be pretty ridiculous now, wouldn't it? It would. So I just pout. That's how I get my own way. I pout. Tony says all the time, there's no, don't sit there and pout all day because I'm still not going to do it. Oops. He's on to me. Um, number 92, do you have kids? Only the furry four-legged kind. Uh, number 93, do you want kids? No, only the furry four-legged kind. Number 94, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. I love purple. Um, pink is a close second, but purple, yes. Um, if, if I have a choice and purple is one of them, it's purple. In fact, I, I said to Tony um, before I came in, or right after I came into the hospital, I said to him, um, could you please go to um, one, of the, one of the dollar stores, Big Lots, or or Dollar Tree, or, or um, you know, even Five Below, and get me um, a nine or ten foot charging cord for my phone, because at the hospital, you know, your charger that comes with your phone is like two feet long. It's got to plug in way back here, and your phone is way up here. It doesn't work, okay? So if I have a nice long cord... So I said, could you please go get me, you know, a 9 or 10 for cord? Which he did, but before he even went, I said, um, you know, get me... I And I know they come in all kinds of different colors. So I said, you know, get me a 9 or 10 for cord in purple. Or pink. They don't have purple. Get pink. Well, they had purple. So, there you go. So I have a purple charging cord. I've got purple, um, you know, thing around my eyeglasses. Um, there was a couple other purple things sitting around. And, of course, my nurses were all like, so you like purple, though? Mm, you really like purple? Yeah, I like purple. My favorite color. Yeah, it's purple. Okay, so number 95. Do you miss someone right now? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, I miss a lot of people right now. To tell you the truth. Um, there's a few people that I miss all the time. Um, and one is my mother. I miss my mother all the time. Um, my mother was a great lady and was my buddy. She really was my buddy. Um, and I know how very cliche, you know, a gay man being a mommy's boy. But I was. Um, and my mother would tell you and anybody else, that there was nothing better than to have a uh, uh, an adult gay son because adult gay sons treated their mother like a queen. And my mother got anything she wanted. My, you know, if I had it, if I had the means, my mother got it. You know, she wanted a, you know, swivel recliner for our beach house. Um, so I got it for, for Mother's Day, um, jewelry, I, you know, she had, she had to buy a, a big standing jewelry armoire finally, because, you know, of course I'm a jewelry person and I love to buy jewelry. I love to give jewelry. I love to own jewelry. Um, so my mother had a lot of jewelry, a lot of jewelry, a lot of jewelry, um, which, 
I certainly want it back when she passed. Um, my stepfather's greedy family, though, uh, came in. My mother wasn't even cold in the ground. And um, it was the very next day after the funeral. And my stepfather's greedy family, his sister and her kids came in and looted. And I say looted because that's what they did. They looted that house. They took everything. They took everything worth anything. They, they, they took all the jewelry. Um, they left some trinkets behind that they didn't think was, were worth anything. Um, but there were a couple pieces they missed. Um, but nothing like what was there. There's, there was thousands of dollars worth of jewelry there and, and gemstones and diamonds and gold. Um, which irritates me to no end. Uh, they took family heirlooms, antiques. Again, family heirlooms that had nothing to do with their side of the family. This man wasn't even blood to any of of us, of the children. Um, he was just my mother's husband. Um, so they had no ties whatsoever to any of that stuff that was our side of the family. And they took it anyway. They took it anyway. Antiques, family heirlooms, Things I know that my mother wanted her children to have. My mother wanted her children to have it all. And we used to, we begged my mother, we used to beg my mother, please, please, mom, please write a will. Write a will. I will someday, I will someday, I will someday. Well, she never did. And then her excuse was, oh, Billy, my stepfather, um, you know, Billy will be fair. Billy knows my wishes, and he'll make sure that my wishes are carried out, and he'll make sure that you guys get what I want you to have. Really, Mom? Really? Because when Billy's sister came in, now my mother used to always say, don't turn your back on Pat, his sister. Don't turn your back on Aunt Pat. Well, she wasn't my Aunt Pat. Don't turn your back on Pat. Okay? So my mother knew Pat. But my mother trusted her husband. And she shouldn't have. Okay? Because he let his sister and her family, her kids, and their offspring, and wives, and, and husbands come in and loot loot that house. They stole everything out of that house that was worth anything to anybody. And some of the things weren't even worth money, but they were worth something to us. They were worth sentimental value. And do you know what they even had the nerve to do? They took off the wall, off the wall, all of our pictures my mother had pictures of her children, um, like my graduation picture, pictures of, you know, random pictures of my sister, my brother. Big, big graduation picture of mine, huge. Um, which I would have loved to have had. Who knows what happened to it? They took every, They took all of our pictures off the wall and replaced them with pictures of his mother, his father, his sister, his family. Boxes and boxes and boxes of family photo albums and pictures were just thrown in, in boxes and put aside to go to the trash. My sister luckily rescued those. Luckily rescued those. Rescued some trinkets out of the jewelry box. Um, 
that were left that they thought were worth nothing. And most of it wasn't. Most of it was costume. Um, but there were a couple pieces in there, like my mother's um, uh, uh, what you call it, my mother's um, class ring. There was also one ring that I bought her that was Franklin Mint that was actually 18 karat white gold and um, beautiful diamonds and a mobby pearl that they thought was that they thought was junk. Yeah, they thought that was costume junk. And they left that. So that was a good thing. Um, so I made sure that went to, I think, my niece. I think I made sure I got that. Um, but there was just some, you know, costume jewelry. But that's all right. Um, that was all we got. That was all we got was a couple boxes, boxes of family pictures and a couple trinkets from the jewelry box. Um, and they took everything else. And that's really terrible. That's really terrible. Um, but, you know, you got to move on. You got to, I mean, I can't dwell on that. And, you know, my mother will make sure they pay for that. She'll make sure they pay dearly because she wanted us to have that stuff. But it goes to show you, have a will. Don't ever trust anybody to make sure that your wishes are carried out. You must have a will and it must be signed. Signed will um, to make sure your things go where you want them to go because it's terrible families are terrible when it comes to when it comes to stuff like that they're just they're awful they're they're money hug hungry grubby little leeches okay and again these people weren't even part of my mother's my mother's family like, they were just my mother's third husband's family, sister, and nieces and nephews. But he, he was the surviving, you know, relative. They were married. So he could do whatever he wanted to do with all of that stuff. He could have taken it all out back and set it on fire and burned it all. And he would be and have been perfectly within his rights to do so. And that's scary. That's really scary. So, um, you know, guys, I have really gotten off now. I need to foca. See what happens? I need to foca. I need to foca. But it was terrible. But yes, I miss my I miss my mother terribly. I miss my mother terribly. Um, I miss Squeak. My first kitty cat. I miss. She was my soulmate. I'm not gonna get on story because I could get on stories about her. I'm not gonna do it. Um, but she, she was. Suffice it to say, she was my my little my little. Um, she was my little spirit spirit animal, um, and and she and I miss her terribly too. Um, of course, I miss my grandmother and my aunts, and you know, I miss all the humans that I've lost, as well. Um, okay, so, uh, number 96, would you rather drive, take a plane, or a train? Well, I've done all three. Depends on where you're going. I personally do not ever want to drive to Florida again. Um, the train was okay, but I would rather take a plane to anywhere that is more than a couple hours away. Uh, number 97, um, do you live in a house or an apartment? Um, we do live in a house. Um, it is rented, um, but it is a little Cape Cod two-story, um, little house. Well, it's not that little, actually. The rooms are really big. It looks a lot, it looks, it's a lot bigger inside than it looks from the outside. Let's just put it that way. So, the rooms are pretty big. Um... Number 98, beach or mountains? Um, if you look back at earlier videos, um, when I first got to the hospital, um, I really looked like uh, Mountain Man Jack with the hair and the beard. Um, I feel much better with it, uh, t you know, trimmed and 
uh, you know, this is more me. Um, and I am a beach. I'm a beach guy. All the way. Um, yeah, give me, give me um, blue water, white sand, palm trees, blue sky with some beautiful uh, white cirrus clouds and um, 70 degrees. And I am so there, so there, guys, so there. Um, number, oh, God, we're on 99, guys. Number 99, snow or rain. Okay, well, I told you I am not a mountain guy. I am not a snow guy. Um, I do not like snow. I actually have never touched snow with my bare hands. Um, I do not like it. I do not like it, Sam, I am. Um... And rain, I mean, I would prefer a nice sunny day, but if I had to pick snow or rain, it's, I pick rain. Um, and number 100, which is the stupidest question of the whole tag. Um, McDonald's, Burger King, or Wendy's? Okay, look. Uh, McDonald's Big Mac, McDonald's Fries. Okay. Uh, Burger King's onion rings with the onion ring dipping sauce. Oh, love it. Wendy's hamburgers or chicken sandwich. Love. If I had to pick, I mean, there's something I love from each one of them. But if I was going through a drive through to get food and there was a McDonald's, a Burger King and a Wendy's all next to each other, I would hands down every time go through the Wendy's. Um, I love, love, love Wendy's food. One problem with Wendy's, and I actually knew someone who worked uh, as a um, district manager for Wendy's at one point, and I even inquired by him. Is it physically impossible? And I believe it is physically impossible to get hot french fries from Wendy's. You can't do it. I have stood in the line. I have ordered my food, standing in the line, waiting for my food. I've watched them pick the fries up out of the oil, dump them in the bin, salt them, put them in the container, put them on my tray. By the time I get to my table, my fries are ice cold. It's physically impossible. Therefore, I don't order fries at Wendy's. I do order a baked potato. Um, so, yeah. Uh, a Wendy's hamburger, baked potato, and a Frosty. That's my choice. Oh, guys. It took two parts, and I'm exhausted. I'm sorry it took two parts. Um, the person that tagged me did all of this in one video. I don't know how they did it, but they did. Um, my, my camera turns off after 40, 45 minutes. Um, I have to go back and see how long their video actually was. Um, because I can't believe they got through all these questions in that little bit of time. Okay, but now here comes my favorite part, okay? Because here comes the part where I get to tag you. All right, so I want to hear the answers to these questions. I want to hear, and I tag. She's going to kill me. I know you're going to kill me. You're really going to kill me. I know you are. But I tag Bonnie from The Bonnie Life. I'm sorry, Bonnie. Get in your Tinkerbell pajama, footy pajamas. Curl up on the couch with some sweet tea and answer the questions. I want to hear, I want to hear the answers. Um, I also tag um, Erica from Erica's Life. I know it's a long tag. Sorry, Erica. And Erica, you tagged me in another, in another tag um, in December, I think. But um, it was during the time that I was having the surgeries and all that stuff. And I don't know which video now that it was in that you tagged me. Um, so if you could send me a link to that video where you, you did the tag and let me watch it again to get the questions, 
I, I will so very much participate in your tag. Um, it's just that at the time, I was a little busy. Um, but I tag Erica for this for this one. Um, I tag uh, Cowgirl Pretty AG. I want to hear the answers, Cowgirl. I want to hear them. And I also tag Matt from Rainbow Soul. So Matt, if you're listening, you done been tagged, girl. Want to hear the answers from your little UK ass? How's that? I do. I want to hear how different life in the UK is to my favorites here in the United States. All right, guys, that's it. Um, it is done, done, and done. A hundred questions that nobody would ever ask because nobody gives a crap. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Don't get fleas. I love you guys. I will see you next time. And I will miss you until then. Okay, take care. Love you guys.